morning, everybody. Uh, here's another distributive property example. This one's got a couple of tricks in it that I want to make sure we go through and that we understand. So you can see uh, some funny stuff going on here. You might notice some distributive property stuff right here, but then you also might be looking at the whole thing collectively going, hey, I think I see some distributive property stuff there. So essentially, we have distributive property inside of distributive property. And so we're just going to work from the inside out and we're going to be able to get there. So to begin with this question, a lot of this stuff is just going to stay exactly the same, untouched. All right, so inside here we have distributive property. So it's going to be three times four y and also three times negative one. But notice that the 2y that's in front never really gets involved in distributive property. Okay? It's not the term that's immediately in front of the brackets. And so it's just, it's just a term that's being added. Same thing with this negative 8 at the end. It's not getting touched either. Again, it's not in the bracket that immediately follows, so it's not getting involved in distributive property either. So moving along with this question, again, the minus 5 or the negative 5 that's in front of the bracket stays put. Let's actually do the multiplying now inside of the brackets. So that 2y stays put. 3 times 4y is 12y. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And again, we just have this minus 8. You'll now notice we have some like terms inside the bracket. It's going to be to our advantage to put those together right now. And so we have negative 5 times, well, what's 2y plus 12y? That's 14y. What's negative 3 minus 8? That's negative 11. Now you're like, oh boy, this is now looking exactly like distributive property. So here we go, distributive property one more time. Negative 5 times 14y negative 5 times negative 11. Oh, we're so close to being done. Negative 5 times 14. Well, what's that? Well, negative 5 times 12. That's negative 60. Do that like two more times to get negative 70y. At that point, by the way, it would be fine to grab a calculator if you wanted to. So negative 70y plus 55. And again, we know we're done the question because there are no like terms to put together. The question is done. So that's how that one would work. 